Welcome back to our Midday Makeover. Today I'm joined here with Dr. Nate McElhaney from Guthrie. Thanks so much for coming in. And you know, you're here, obviously, uh, this month is a lung cancer awareness month. You know, tell us a little bit, you know, what exactly is lung cancer and how common is it? So lung cancer is um, basically abnormal cells that start growing in your lungs. Um, and given time, they can spread throughout your body and cause death. Um, it's something that is common. It's the second most common cancer next to breast cancer, but it is by far the most lethal. The um, death rate is higher than breast, prostate, and colon cancer combined. Wow. And you know, who's most at risk for this? Um, nearly anybody with lungs are at risk, but uh, more likely to happen in people who are smoking, um, ex-smokers even in the last uh, 15 years, as well as um, people who live with smokers. I was going to say, can you touch kind of on, you know, that secondhand smoke aspect of it? You know, how easy is it to, you know, possibly be at risk for lung cancer with the secondhand smoke? Um, the risk is higher. Uh, all of the stuff, uh, all the um, numbers really look at increased risk or decreased risk. I think the, the more you stay away from toxins in your lungs, the better. Great. And you know, what treatment options are available, you know, if you know, you do find out that, you know, you do have lung cancer. So um, lung cancer is great. We have multiple modalities of, of treatment. If it's early um, and we can get um, early staging, surgery is uh, by far the best overall treatment. Um, and we do advances in that as far as minimally invasive, uh, that's smaller holes instead of a, a larger thoracotomy. We also have advancements in radiation therapy as well as uh, chemotherapy. Great. And then quickly, you know, what symptoms should people be looking out for, you know, before that they should go to a doctor to get checked out? The majority symptoms are no symptoms. Uh, a lot of, we have uh, a lot of people that come in and get CAT scans for some other purpose and we find some uh, mass. Uh, the majority of uh, people, if they fall into the category of 55 years old to 74 and have smoked for more than 30 pack years um, and have even quit in the last 15 years, they can get a screening uh, CAT scan. Okay, great. Well, doctor, that's all the time we have, but thanks so much for coming in. Right, and as you. always, we'll put all of this information and more on our website, weny.com.